end, end of the day, arbitrarily deciding to tilt your bars <laughs> because you think it's going to be faster, is you don't want to do this yeah. uh, until you have a proper aerodynamic test. In today's test, we're going to be looking at the mantis position. It's referred to as a mantis position, and what you end up doing is actually tilting the bars at a different angle with respect to your forearm. And not the mantis position doesn't work for everyone. It's really a balance between comfort and aerodynamics, and the specific angle that you reach that is going to be best for you will likely be unique. So we're going to be working with Matt on the test today. As Chris said, it comes down to basically where do you feel comfortable and stable at the speeds you race? So this is very personalized, really. This fit is a personalized one, looking at optimal performance to safety and comfort. Absolutely. So yeah, so yeah. why don't we get going? Let's start some testing. Yeah, Matt just mentioned he's ready, so let's get started. Okay. During our testing, we did four positions, baseline and three different mantis positions. In test one, we saw a savings. Test two, we saw a savings, but actually test three, we saw a detriment. So test two was the best results with a four watt savings or approximately 2%. Okay, let's talk about Mantis position. Different things work for different people. We're coming down to a couple factors with this we want to talk about is uh, what's the right angle potentially for you, which comes down to getting a proper fit and then advancing that. Safety and stability, I think, is something that's really important with, with that. So just getting more aggressive uh, is important uh, with the Mantis position. So long-term comfort as well, for sure. Staying in that position for a long period of time and making sure that you can sustain something like that. I, I do think that there's a lot to be said there. Yep. A lot of, you see a lot of pros, you see a lot of professional triathletes, you see a lot of professional cyclists when they're doing time trial. You'll see them uh, use this Mantis position, but th it's very possible that these athletes have been tested in a wind tunnel environment or done some t type of field testing to tweak uh, the exact uh, angle that their forearm is making with respect to their body. And that angle we found with Matt is actually quite sensitive to the drag. And we found that uh, increasing it up beyond a certain uh, level didn't really provide him any benefit. It actually provided a detriment. And so he actually returned down to a more comfortable position for him. And that's, that's actually a good point. And the comfort again, are you doing a 40 kilometer TT? Are you doing a half or a full uh, triathlon Ironman type race? So that's the other factor. You're totally right. And yeah. and with Matt, Arbit like the, end, end of the day, arbitrarily deciding to tilt your bars <laughs> because you think it's going to be faster is you don't want to do this yeah. uh, until you have a proper aerodynamic test. Yeah, definitely. And I think that that's key there and uh, taking consideration against your body type, wider shoulders, shorter shoulders, comfort, and so forth. So definitely with that video. It comes down to, uh, really, it comes down to, if you think it's gonna work, you need to get tested properly. So this would actually be looking for a bike fitter that has AeroLab or some type of aero testing if you can access a wind tunnel. Just try not to test in conditions like this. <laughs> yeah, definitely, wind picking up. Yeah. So. <laughs> but overall, great test today. If you're liking some of these videos, definitely keep following. And we got some more tests that we did today to talk about and, uh, at the end of the day, every watt counts. That's right, every watt counts.